Bannatine's Health Club at Tower 42 is supporting Shelter's Vertical Rush. Its team of fitness professionals has created the Vertical Rush workout for people wanting to take on the tower's 42 floors. Before starting any exercise you must perform a warm up. This should last between 5 and 10 minutes and consist of light cardiovascular exercise such as brisk walking or cycling. The first part of the vertical rush workout is 20 minutes of cardiovascular exercise which can be increased in time and intensity as you progress. This can include brisk walking or jogging on a 10 to 15 percent incline or the use of a stepper machine. Using the stepper will simulate the exercise performed during the vertical rush and is the ideal exercise to increase muscular endurance for this event. Both of these exercises can also be performed outdoors. For the jogging, use a steady or steep hill and practice repeatedly walking or jogging to the top and return to the beginning. The trip to the bottom will act as a recovery. To progress, reduce the recovery time and increase repetitions. To replicate the stepper machine, use some steps or stairs and repeatedly walk or jog up them and use the trip back down to the bottom to recover. The lunge works the quadriceps, hamstrings and glutes. When performing the exercise ensure your front knee remains behind the toes, your body position should be as vertical as possible with your chin parallel to the floor. The movement should be vertically down and back up, do not lean forward or backward. On the upward movement, ensure that you push up with your heel. Perform three sets of 12 to 15 repetitions on each leg. The squat also works the quadriceps, hamstrings and glutes. When performing this exercise, please ensure both knees are behind the toes, keep your back in a neutral and upright position, keep chest lifted and your chin must be parallel to the floor. On the second half of the exercise, ensure that you push from both heels. Perform three sets of 12 to 25 repetitions of this exercise. A good exercise which can be done anywhere there are stairs is the step up. When performing this exercise, ensure your full foot is planted on the step for each repetition. During the exercise, make sure you keep your knee in line with your toe and keep a good posture during the exercise with a straight back looking straight ahead. Perform three sets of 12 to 25 repetitions on each leg of this exercise. Progression for this exercise can be achieved by using additional weight, for example holding dumbbells in each hand. To support this exercise, perform some calf raises. When performing this exercise, use the full range of motion by lowering the heel at the beginning of each repetition. Ensure you keep a good posture and use railings for stabilising your balance. After any exercise, you must perform a cool down. Lasting 5 to 10 minutes, it should consist of light cardio exercise similar to the warm up. Follow up the cool down with the following stretches. Glute. Ensure you keep a good posture, twist from the hips and keep your abs tight. Quadriceps. Keep your knees in line and together and your hips square and facing forward. Catch your ankle, not your toes. Hamstrings. Keep your back straight during the flex, your hips square and use your bent knee to support your weight. Calf. Plant your heel on the ground, keep a good posture and push forward into the stretch. Bannatine's Vertical Rush Workout will help exercisers take the first steps to taking on the City of London's tallest building. Remember, the only way is up. <laughs>